What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bob Mike. You already know. Wait, 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 first of all, new studio, working on it, I'm back in my house in Florida. I don't really wanna show you too much until it's done, but keep the... Cheese. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys why you suck at sampling and the reason why I'm being so harsh is because by the end of this video, it's not gonna be a problem. I'm very confident in that because a lot of it is a mindset thing. It's not really a talent thing. A lot of you guys really have the talent. I, I keep seeing like 13 year old producers popping up and going crazy, like inspiring me and shit. It's really dope to see. Get this to 3,000 likes. I'm working on a new kit. You'll see me use it in this video. I'm gonna send a bunch of commenters that kit when this hits 3,000 likes. So let's jump into it. Cheese. You gotta think about which way you're gonna approach this. Are you making this specifically for something? Somebody, or are you just sampling just for the love of the game and you just trying to make some cool beats? For me in particular, I have like a, a an idea in mind of what kind of sample I'm trying to listen for, whether it's like more emotional chords or something like simple and hard. I've been watching a lot of anime. I've been watching uh, Record of Ragnarok on Netflix. So I looked up sample OST, simple as that. And I found one that sounds really cool. What I'm thinking about is like, oh, this could be sped up a little bit and it would sound really hard with like some just crank, just some yant, just <laughs> yaminate away. Just busting through the mix, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do. Wanna make something more upbeat? Let's just start off rip. You wanna make sure that this is looped on and this doesn't follow either. That way you come in here to the nitty gritty. And I'm just gonna find something to sample. So what I'm thinking about here is just the actual tempo of the sample itself. You can do that so easily. Just tap the tempo. So dun, 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 dun. If it doesn't match up, you're gonna be fine. Like I said, everything has a practical solution. Everything is simple. We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna stretch this. Put it on time with here, cause it's 168. Maybe drop it, maybe down a little bit. Put it on stretch. Pitch it up a little bit. This doesn't work for every sample, but a lot of samples it does. Look at the waveform, and you could kind of see this is the one big part, and this would loop. See, it just loops perfectly. So a lot of it is just a feel thing. Don't overcomplicate it. Just listen to it. There's a thousand ways to skin a cat to tell if it's on time. If you don't know if it's on time there, see if everything is kind of hitting on each grid. So you come over here. This is the perfect telltale sign. If this was literally like exactly on time, it would be like something like this. The thing is, is music's not perfectly on time. So as long as you're in the general vicinity, the ballpark, you'll be fine. Gives it a little more swing. If everything's too perfectly on time, it's just going to sound like a robot did it. Nobody likes music fucking made by robots unless it's Daft Punk and I digress so we're gonna come back over here just start building out sections and I'm gonna unique this I got over here I got the pitch knob and this just gives it full range to mess with that so I'm just gonna pitch this section down or up and we're gonna see that's hard I think we just need to take out some of the harsher frequencies for this, I may do a little bit of experimenting maybe with Shaper Box and what these things do is it just manipulates and alters the sample. I just want this thing to progress so it's not just the same thing running throughout the whole track or else this thing is just gonna get mad boring. That's hard as shit. Let's do that as a layer because that sounded crazy. Throwing a tremulator on this thing too so it just doesn't clash too much with the main melody. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is just to show you, it's all about meat and bone. If it sounds good, and I, I'm a firm believer in this, if it sounds good with like two-step hi-hat and an 808, a really simple 808 bounce, and that, that shit is, is jamming, it's knocking, you can leave it like that, but at least you know it has a bounce just being mad simple, and that's kind of just the indicator for me personally. I'm gonna show you something cool here. Put a clap in here, two steps. And then I'm gonna go back and probably flip this a whole different way. There's just so many ways you could do this. It's so simple. It's more about just compartmentalizing all this information and just using everything as like a tool in your tool belt. I love saying that. I think my, my JV coach in like seventh grade, my JV basketball coach said that. And he also said, keep it simple. No, he didn't say that. That was kind of beat. He said, prior planning prevents piss poor, prior planning prevents piss poor, prior plan. <laughs> Prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And he told me that shit right before his fucking ass got fired and he went and fucking worked at Wendy's. We were supposed to have a damn celebration at the end of the season. We went like fucking, we went like 500. We went like fucking 12 and 12 or so shit. We were supposed to have a party. That never happened. I don't know where he is to this day. Coach Bombfield, I want that fucking party. So give me my fucking party. I deserve that. I dropped like 12 that night. And his name is John C. Cool. Alright, just to show you, I'm gonna lay down this 808. Mad simple. This is just gonna be dummy simple. 
just from there like you hear it has rhythm you hear it just has a little vibe to it you know it's not always fun to do just super super simple stuff but when it comes to the melody you keep that shit simple another thing you can do is kind of see what that key was let's see if this is G sharp you see it's G sharp you can embellish on this by bringing in you know whatever you want I'm gonna bring something in and add on and really just show you real quick Yes sir, yes sir. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna flip this into a drill beat. Don't ask me how, but I'm gonna do it. Y'all gonna see it. We don't wanna go too crazy with this. You need space for that artist to be able to do the thing if that's what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to make a beat, go crazy. But I'm gonna try and make something for an artist. A lot of the times you feel like you guys add stuff and you're like, damn, this is too harsh or something. It's not much just to fix it. There's a lot of things that'll work as long as it's in key, you can add that shit to the background. This sounds cool to me, I like it. You know what I will say though? Because this uh, whole pattern actually with the melody goes for eight bars, I would probably make that progression with the uh, arcade vocal chops, probably make it eight bars as well. I like the way that came out. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Turning this shit into just some extravagant. Let's just loop this here like this. Get a small progression probably going like this. Let's make a drill beat. Everybody always asks me to make drill. I never make drill. Boom. A normal beat would be like this drill. You just kind of offset it. And let's get like a some I can fuck around with and slide a lot. Boom. <laughs> Alright, let's get a uh, hi-hat bounce going. Now that we know what the key is, we'll be able to kind of mess around with these 808s. I think the ultimate pump fake here would be pitching this up three more and just having like a real grumbly, rumbly type of uh, thing here. Yeah, I still want somebody on this, so I'm gonna make a lot of room at certain parts like we talked about in my last video. If you wanna make something more complex, how to be able to do that without taking away from like the artist being like, oh fuck, this shit just is too much going on. I can't do this. So take notes. So I'm here and here. Let's deviate away from the actual root note. Talk about this in another video, how to be able to do that and just know that you're still gonna be in key and it's still gonna be tasteful. And we're kind of one of the proponent, uh, one, one of the people who push it always is just follow the root notes, make sure your shit's in key. But you can always just kind of do some other stuff. Uh, as long as it's in key, it'll sound fine. And let's just embellish a little more, add some more stuff. Cause this is a drill beat. So let's make this rhythm with some more uh, consistent sound. Very subtle. Don't feel like you gotta fucking fill in some of these accent sounds with so many things. You don't need to do that. A lot of the times, the things you're finding are so cool that they just kind of carry the load on their own. Huh? Ah. Uh, really, all we need, yeah, is a kick. I'm gonna start by copying everything over, bringing it here, and start selectively taking out certain stuff because I just don't want it to be boring where like the kick hits the exact same time as every 808. Kind of have the arrangement here. This is something that makes samples sound really cool too. It's just kind of how you present it to the audience. So for this one in particular, I'm just gonna bring it in right here, leaving out some parts of each pattern, giving them a little taste before the drop, which actually has nothing, builds up a little bit of tension until this part. When you 
you break it down, it's very, very simple. There's not that many sounds even used in it. It's just like knowing how to use everything and not overthinking everything. Go with a lot of your guys' first ideas or your gut. Like with this, it's a little more free flow, but that's just because I've been doing it a while. I kind of was listening to it and I was like, oh, sounds like a drill beat to me. So I just went with it with drill. And I like the way it came out. I feel like I can hear somebody on it because in certain sections of the song, let's say like the verse, for example, all it is is sub, hi-hats, clap, and that sample. Everybody can kind of see if like you're in the shits and you're in the industry and stuff. Like we can all tell when everybody's trying to like try a little too hard or they're a little insecure with like what they're going with. So just stick to your gut. Don't overthink anything. It's not that hard. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Turn on the post notifications. We're running it up. Got my editor back. Shout out my editor, Moat. Love you, dog. Peace.